Welcome everybody to another episode of Books and Veggies. <laughs> Not to be confused with Books and What? <laughs> Perfect. I'm Kristen and with me I have What? And Maria. It's Erica <laughs> and Maria. What? what? This is a book podcast. Forget me not. <laughs> this is a book podcast. We swear we spoil and we talk about sex and we suck at this. Clearly. The way she just jumps the gun every time. And then, like we you, and then you wonder. And then you fucking wonder why people are like, I can't get past the open. It's too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wonder. All right. Yeah. This week. Uh, Sorry. The book that we're talking about this week is Forne- Forget Me Not. Forne- 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 <laughs> not. Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Yes. I knew job. that one. Because. For I thought not. I thought Julie Soto was like somebody that we've read a whole bunch of, and apparently it's not. So not. a bunch of people thought that Julie Soto was a Bipoc author, and she is not. Oh, she's Soto. white. That last name will make I you think she's think Latina. So, to? she's not Latina. Okay. Well, I thought that we had read more. I think I got her confused with Love Hypotenuse Girl. Allie Hazelwood. Al- Allie I don't Hazelwood. know how. Sounds nothing alike. Why did I think? <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Okay, moving on from that. That's a little um, open into Kristen's brain. Yeah. Forget me not. Where the fuck did this one? I know it came from Erica. Came Why? From Erica. No. Maria said she wanted to read it, and I said, oh, I had yeah, a wonderful I time. I, I did, loved it. I did, I did, I did, I did. The I did, immediate I point did, to I Erica. Did. And I do wrong. blame her for most things. I know, I do too. Um, no, I, I, it <laughs> I take was during, the blame. It was during our episode about um, upcoming reads that we have our eyes on. Yep, that's right. That's right. And I mentioned that I had an eye on it because uh, people, I think, because Robin had mentioned that it was one of her favorite books also. Oh. Um, and Robin, I think, loved it. Correct me if I'm wrong, Robin, but I think you did. <laughs> um, and so I mentioned the podcast, and then Erica was like, oh my God, I love that book so much and then you were like let's cover it then i think you said it i did yeah i love this book like on the initial first read i don't know how much i will love it i know i'm saying i don't know how much i would love it on a second read Mm. like i think like the allure of this book was like not knowing what was going to happen in terms of like their relationship their relationship and like why they were the way that right 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 right, so like that i think was the entertainment part of it that makes a lot of sense like push pull will they won't they why aren't they what's the, what happened what yeah. was the, and yeah now that you kind of like know that going into it you're like oh well you know what though having a bad memory is the best thing as a book reader because yeah. i end up like i will come back to this book in four years and forget yeah oh, for sure one million I want to forget ask, me I not think, i think you all of us have this issue i think i'm the best one with memory out of the yeah. three of us yeah um mainly because it's an anxiety thing but i feel like most books that i read i tend to forget a lot of them yes uh maybe two or three weeks out if we didn't yeah. have the podcast yeah nothing would be retaining in my brain i totally agree it could be a five-star book for me and the next day i'd be like i don't remember what i read i'll tell you like hey i loved it but i don't know why yeah <laughs> and then people on the internet will be like well you didn't actually read it then that's bullshit i just have <laughs> memory problems and how dare you exploit you just, it yes yeah. you, you just didn't comprehend it no, oh, I, I comprehended call you dumb. it all right. You just oh, I didn't. comprehended it all right. <laughs> That's what the the trolls on the That's internet the would internet say. Says. Well, let me just start off by saying this book had every single thing that I hated in it, <laughs> and I didn't hate the book. List it. So weddings, tell us <gasps> wedding stress, wedding. grumpy I'm sunshine, grumpy. I don't care about the sunshine. I hate grumpy motherfuckers. Because you're a sunshine. That's because that's because you're dating a golden retriever. You all, I am. She's married to a golden a retriever. Get it right. Sorry. Why I love uh, Brian. She's a ring on her cinnamon. finger. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, you say you have a cinnamon roll. I guess I date my husband. Um, no, the the biggest thing about this, and we'll do the sixty seconds. But I'll do it. I, I was immediately stressed reading it yeah and i fucking don't want to be stressed when i read because it was like very work centric but let me tell you the biggest thing that i hate mm-hmm. about it. weddings yeah i fucking hate weddings and Why? i have a hard time talking about it with erica here because i went to her wedding we both did. she had a wedding um and i don't and I, I had a great time can i just we loved saying, your wedding please i can you understand i don't fucking give a shit because okay, okay. i th- what in my opinion my wedding was a fun ass fucking yes, party that i threw no i agree amazing and i agree everything that we did was for the comfort and the in- yes. entertainment of our guests yes you had a very good wedding so i so, think everyone felt that so she can had a you, pasta so bar can you put that can you i will the, never forget the pasta, the pasta wheel, bar the fucking so, cheese hey, wheel. hey 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 hold so, on wheel. we're the talking about the cheese wheel. i don't care about the cheese wheel. <laughs> did you have what i'm about sh- what i'm about to say next okay i, didn't, I don't even know if can I you take your wedding and put it somewhere else and not think about don't be a she doesn't care i don't give a shit what you think about weddings okay i hate weddings I hate being invited to weddings. I You're hate going invited to, to weddings. A lot of See, weddings. that's a little. <sighs> oh, no, that's a little killjoy. 
because I don't care. I think the I wedding lo- industry is bullshit. As a as a person who does not go to the bars as often as I used to, mm-hmm. weddings are a fun night out. Mm. I disagree. Like I have a good time. I have to make like, sure I have the right dress. I have to spend John money. Have I have a no. fucking. We have a. Me and John have been to probably. So you over haven't been to a bad wedding. Weddings. So you haven't been to. A bad I've been wedding. to plenty of bad weddings. Yeah, but I hate it. me and John have like a system in place where like this is crazy. You and John this. would have a system. It's we crazy. Do. We we that's we crazy. Are, you have to have a system. We're a unit. In we're what like, world celebrating love do we have to have a system? But go because, on, go no, on. because when you get the past hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that type of shit. Oh, you, the shit that you paid for. Okay. The pastor did. <laughs> sometimes, like, you don't always get all of them. So anytime I'm separated from John, I always find, like, two that I know that he would want and one for me. So, like, we, when we come back together, like, we exchange because we both saw different fucking past ones. And then that I'm like, precious. Like, we are very good at, 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 at covering all I, of the food. I just, all think, of the food in the entire I venue. I just think the wedding industry is fucked up i think people spend way too much money on a party totally agree for for i think it's lost i think the idea the po- the whole point of weddings is lost in the party and well, it in makes the me sad not even the party but in the bullshit of it all. i mean people are pay- paying ten thousand dollars for a photographer for it's pictures cr- that you're gonna crazy. look at it's every so five years maybe and that's gonna be it like it's, so it's crazy. that's the stuff that i just the wedding industry the this book really i think this book especially it shows how ridiculous it, it highlights is. some of the like absolutely out of bounds yes. like and aspects some people just of the wedding want, industry some people all they care about is like am i gonna look good my dress is gonna be good is like, this gonna I care be about, like cool like, enough not, is this gonna impress yes. people is this so that's what i have high to say end enough about what i just hate so weddings. i, hate I weddings. wish weddings were back like w- when my parents got married they got married at like a knights of columbus type yeah. like place um and it was just a hall my mom literally put up fucking streamers i love this shit like streamers i love this like legitimate rented i think they had a band and then eventually a dj came it was but it's like you're doing it on your own you're it not went like, it yeah. was in the church at first obviously all, all of her parents like pretty much got married in a church um in the church <laughs> two hour fucking either. ceremony <laughs> yeah like crazy you know what i mean the full like catholic fucking thing um and then back to or into the knights of columbus rager until three in the morning yeah like that's fine because no 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 fucking like noise ordi- ordinances any like back i just then see in the so 80s, many like, tiktoks and reels of like these bridezillas and i'm just like do you even care about the person you're marrying like do you actually care about the idea of the what the whole purpose of the wedding is or do you only care about what do you see some of what those? ends up what ends up happening is it's like you are like i did all this shit for you and you can't fucking like do half of this for me and you're just like what kind of friend are you to me yeah if you can't even fucking like show up and do this and shut your fucking face (laughs) like you know what i mean like that's what it ends up being and that like that's coming from two people that are from a person that lost two friends during my wedding Mm-hmm. granted it was a three-year engagement because of covid well but you like, weren't asking for a lot but there's some brides that are so like, i need matching tattoos one on your person, forehead and it's like go fuck yourself one person <laughs> dropped out of my wedding because our political opinions didn't align yeah that's crazy that's that's during like, covid that's, that's different during covid yeah um so that was that so was one. my point is <laughs> Not a fan of weddings, so you guys, you guys know who that was. So yes, I'm well aware. <laughs> Not a fan of weddings. You presented me with a book but that it, f- centers around a wedding, weddings, and the wedding always, industry. Which what's is my crazy to me, and I think is the most unrealistic part about this book, like I said, weddings always cause problems yes. in some capacity, mm-hmm. and like I don't know a single wedding where a relationship. A friendship or See, the a family I member or something has not been impacted in a negative way. And that's I why I got married I, on a mountain. In, I have. Although people had a problem with I've, that. Like <laughs> I said, I've been to like over 40 weddings. I cannot think of a single one where there wasn't a fucking massive problem. Isn't it wild? I was like, I'll just get married on a, on a mountain and I'll, it'll cause no problems because me and two other people will be there. And you were barely 24 hours married and it was already an issue. People were like, why wasn't problem. I at your wedding? I'm like, because I hiked a nine. I hiked nine that's miles to get about. married. So the the fact that this wedding in particular like didn't have like a cataclysmic like yeah fucking problem aside from like what was occurring like physically there was some there was no like emotional like there was actually a lot i can let us know when we do the six seconds let's do this. who's doing this i'll do seconds. it okay all right let's do the 60 seconds for this book we can get into we can get more into the wedding let's see if i can remember most of excitement it excitement of it all um all right if you're I new to remember the two people 
Amma or no, Amma. No, 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 I fucking two. hate that name so much. Oh, the, the people What's who are name? getting married? Yeah. Elliot. Oh, the two girls getting... um The influencer and then her girlfriend. I don't know. Well, fiance. Don't know her name, fiance. but it's fine. Fiance. All right. Fiance. If you're new to this podcast, we do this thing where we attempt to explain the entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less. This week, Maria's going to do Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Maria, are you ready? It doesn't matter. It does in not matter. three, two, one, go. Emma is a wedding planner. She is trying to make it on her own. Uh, she used to be part of a bigger company. Now she's on her own, whatever. And she is now landed this big contract with a super big influencer who is marrying her um, girlfriend. And so she's getting ready to do this whole thing. She finds out that the florist has already been hired by them because they know them through life or whatever. And it happens to be someone who she had a thing with three years prior. His name is Elliot. He owns a flower shop. Um, and so we spend the book in two perspectives. His perspective is the past of what happened between them and why things broke off. Her perspective is the present and it's all a lot of tension and angst of like what happened between them. They can't be in the same room together. Turns out at the end, they finally like, she finally asks for help and she finally like gets him to 15. be part of the, her life again. Cause she's really averse to getting married. Cause her mom had like 16 husbands. 10. And yeah, so at the end they, the wedding goes off with crazy, like issues Five. but elliot helps and she lets go Three, and then they finally get to bed together two one beautiful know, that was a little out the rails at the end, that was really good this is also uh rilo fanfic. it's a kylo ren and ray fanfic i don't get that i don't get it so i don't either we're not even honest. in space no, 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 i don't i i don't either listen 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 i don't I get think, it i think <laughs> i don't want to get it <laughs> maria can you explain it. already i think we're not in space <laughs> We don't, I don't get think it. It's a direct <laughs> Kylo Ren and Rey fanfic. I think it's the dynamic, the grumpy sunshine thing. Um, but it's then you always could call all grumpy sunshine. No, but they look like let them. Me, that's where I was getting at. That like, doesn't matter. How does that matter? You know what? I don't know why it doesn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't. Bri, it doesn't I don't matter. get it. I don't get it either. Now I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love Kylo Ren? I I like Kylo I like Ren, Kylo yeah. Ren too. Oh, I, I like it him. in fucking no, 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 Star no. Wars. <laughs> no, no, no. I, um, I don't Kate Katie oh, Kate loves him oh, my I best thought, friend Kate I thought you really liked him or something no 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 I think he's attra- I think he's attractive as Kylo Ren I like his I liked how he did in that oh, film oh you're talking about Adam Driver Adam Driver yeah I don't find him like super crazy attractive I think he has a good like demeanor to him I think I he mean, handles like, it well if he was banging on my door I'd say yes he looks like, like Keanu Reeves I don't think I would like actively he looks seek him out like it Keanu was, Reeves it, no he doesn't yes he does not really I'll show he you a side like people the, made looks, side by side he's got a longer face longer face than Keanu you guys are so wrong and a bigger nose but that's okay he's, um he's got a big body the the reason I, I at man. first was adverse to him because he was in girls the oh, HBO he was such show a fucking scumbag in girls. and I I don't think I've ever hated a show more than I hated girls I concur I he does have a longer sta- face. I'll and I that. watched a. I think I, I watched like two seasons of it. I tried to give it a chance, and I could not stand it. So, oh, they look a lot alike. All right, they look, I mean, they it looks like, like he distant could be cousins. A son. Yeah, distant cousins. It could be his son. Fair. Um. So when he was in Star Wars, I was like, um. So I don't know about this, but it grew on me. Did the He's author an- acknowledge that this? I don't know. So I think this, this is where I think it is. This, I, I have not seen it firsthand, so I can't say I know that. Okay. But I think through the grapevine, what I've heard is it's part of this like kind of phenomenon right now where a lot of books are basically uh, Raylo fanfics. It's happening so, a lot. Love Hypothesis is a Raylo fanfic. Oh. Um, this one, a lot of uh, I Allie think they're part of are, they're part of like a community. So they were their Wait, own little authors. like forum. Is it possible? Yeah, that Grumpy Sunshine is just a common thing, and people happen to look like other people. Maybe just the 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 Raylo thing just took a lot of people like just took them by storm, really. And I so guess. a lot of people have been writing it. Hmm. And they've gotten big off of it because Ali Hazelwood did it well. You mm-hmm. know, like that started off as its own thing and then it got strictly published, I think. Interesting. Same for I think this. It's the sh- tall, shaggy black hair, dark eyes, and then like the petite little like pixie looking yeah, girl it's, like, with super brown hair. sweet and optimistic. And yada, yada. So like, this book, we open it at a wedding. Of course. And immediately I was stressed, like I was saying earlier, because she is a wedding planner. Yeah. And it's like my photographer needs a band-aid and this person is dying and then this bitch just punched this asshole and it's like i'm reading it all and i like felt my my heart rate going mm-hmm. up and i was like oh my god i don't like this but i will say it felt like a movie yeah i think the way it was I think written, it's well written i think the way it was written really like 
cemented as a movie in my head because i saw the montage i saw the like the i could hear the music in the background yes. like yes just seeing her go from person to person and be like you need this okay oh the bride doesn't want to come out she's having cold feet give me five minutes with her i'll fix it she was like, really good she at did a job. good job she, of she was like basically setting J-Lo that stage in the, wedding, in the wedding planner yes yeah yes it's a wedding planner basically it, I, it felt more I like oh need you more. oh that's the wedding singer yeah <laughs> um okay so <laughs> i feel like i would be the best wedding planner do i you? really do think i would fucking crush it my biggest oh, yeah, like with problem with a wedding thing. planner is like working fucking the whole weekend well i feel like the day of the wedding you think you would do i feel like planning it all leading up to it you would be like here's an you excel sheet for this like, that's like what you're no like, i know but do you think you would enjoy like actually um i think my problem would be with like people who are like crazy annoying about see, like, I, can, I don't i don't see you dealing with that well. but like I, that's what i do with clients all day that's true i know how to deal with people and like but i could just see like a fucking old man like this old man is just like why is it men? and you just being like shut the fuck up my i think i would just i would take the like the tone of like i don't know what you're it's, talking it's about. the killing yeah. with kindness tone no it, it's just like this like, i do aloofness it. of like I don't know what you're talking about. I would just be like, yeah, that's fine. We can't get married at the time that I want it. That's fine. <laughs> we'll figure I it mean, out. it, it kind of happened to postpone to tomorrow. It kind of happened here. for your wedding because okay. you were like, oh, it's raining. It is, yeah. I don't think we can do it. <laughs> it's the worst. Um, it is well, it the thing that I loved about. So I liked her character. I thought she was fun. Emma. Ellie, I hated her fucking name. Yeah. Don't ever name somebody Emma. Are you kidding me? And then and then her name was based off a flower, and I had to say the whole name of the flower to understand if her name was Amma or Emma or Emma. Once, <sighs> once we found out that he had tattooed the flower on himself, I was like, he still loves her. <laughs> you with the fucking <laughs> tattoos, bro. You love a good tattoo moment. Oh, yeah. You eat that shit up. She does. It's just. I don't gah. love like the name, like a name one, but I love. No, like, he got a, the flower itself. Okay, I like a tribute. Let's talk about this. Elliot is this grumpy motherfucker who owns a floor. Why is Who's he so like, mad? Brilliant he too. wanted to be an architect. Why is he so mad all the time? Mm, men. Because he fucking owns a flower shop. No, he he so owns it now pleasant. after his father. And he doesn't eat sugar. You yeah, that's dude. That was that's, that's sociopathic. That's your <laughs> problem. That is we solved it. He doesn't eat fucking donuts. The fact that's that he a had problem. a problem with donuts, I was like, I can't date you. I'm sorry. She loves donuts. Yeah, me too. Emma or Amma or Emma loves donuts, brings them in, and Elliot's like, get those fucking donuts out of here. What did I tell you? We've been doing this <laughs> dance for a long time. Also, like, donuts. why are, why are you so angry about fucking yo nuts? Like, yo nuts. <laughs> what the hell's a yo nut? No, just like I'm talking about, like it, it it's her fucking donut. It's like being angry if she brought in a sandwich. Yeah, and yeah, you're like, get I don't like fucking mustard on sandwiches. Get it out of here. Yeah, so he, like, all- you're not eating it. Who gives a shit? Elliot is an interesting character. So, like you said, we go back and forth between yeah. timeline. His timeline, when- his chapters are all three years prior. I think the way that this was done was agreed beautiful yeah. agreed because i'm a person that when it comes to dual perspective sometimes i get annoyed where like we'll end on let's say the female's perspective and we'll go to the male and it's just kind of reiterating the same thing we've just gone through like two sentences prior not all and you get too much information yeah, too not all authors do it the the wrong way but um this one in particular elliot's perspective was only three years prior so we yeah. only saw what was happening that led up to what their breakup was because this is essentially a second chance romance. and you have no idea why they broke up you just know that there's tension and something big he's, happened he's like angry gr- he's almost a gr- i don't want to say aggressive but, but like, he was even grumpy before he's like, always was, been grumpy but yeah. he was even more grumpy afterwards so it like almost felt like she did something fucked up yeah but it made I, it feel I, like I she was a, but she is yeah. the problem because she didn't no, want no, no, she him. was the problem but like you kind of knew that she though. was clearly still in love with him yeah yeah so you're like well what did you fucking do well she was trying to avoid him at all costs she was like oh man they they had to choose this florist like i've had yeah, to have all people in this years. one but it just like it, it to me it raised a lot of questions of like what could have happened here i had a and feeling. i get you like i might have maybe picked it up with context clues but like i was still kind of like all right like i'd unless i fucking know i'm not making like the full assumption yeah Gotcha. Like, I like to just go with it. Yeah. Sure. Like, just ride tell the me what the fucking hap- what, I'm just, what happened. I just think the biggest, like, red herring was the fact that her mom was married, like, yep. 17 times. Yep. And I was like, Why well, from the jump, she just didn't want to commit. Yeah. I thought that was pretty obvious. But getting to the actual scene, I think, was still exciting. I thought 16 was a little excessive. 16. Yeah, I think way it was meant too, to be. Nobody's it could, it getting married. It could have been four or five. It's, it, five would have been fine. Five would have been perfectly fine. Yes. 16. Who feels- gets married 16 times? 
Who? Mm. In what world are you having 16 weddings? At that point, why get married? And that's why I hate the wedding. Imagine being like 12. What? What? Like being the 12th guy. You're oh, like, you said, oh, like, oh being you're like 12, 12 years at the old. age. I'm <laughs> like being number 12. You're like, this lady's been fucking married 12 times. <laughs> you see, she's got like a million like, kids. At what, at what point would you be like, I don't think I can marry you? Well, she has like a million like, how kids, many? but like they're his kids. No, no, no. But like how, many, how many ex-husbands or like wives would it be like, okay, I don't think I can be with this person? Oh, one. You think you wouldn't marry a divorcee? Probably not. I mean, I'm never going to get divorced, so I don't, don't have to worry about it. I think I think more than three would be alarming. It's probably in the cards for me at this rate. No. <laughs> Maria. That was so sad. <laughs> the, the dating pool. Wait for the <laughs> second round. I don't know. I feel like uh, uh, someone else breaks them first. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but that's just because I'm in a committed relationship and I can't imagine like going through it. But I, and if that there's, I mean, there's a million. If things it that were to happen, happen, yeah, fine. Then three no wait two? are you asking two. how many they have to have i think one one is like enough Does widow count no absolutely that's different not. you that's didn't totally choose that yeah i i can okay, tell you so right now i will two. never get divorced i'll have to die or mike will have to die before that ever happens so i mean yeah, i'm like this is a fucking hypothetical my god <laughs> <laughs> Well, I Stop don't being like so it. Fucking it's stick depressing in the mud me. about it. It's depressing me. I think th- I think two would be alarming. Yes. Yeah. Two would be it's alarming. like what's the and problem? It, it are you like, sorry if what any of you, you are going to I mean, but that's the thing. It could be they ended up in really shitty situations. I guess it would also depend like you're 37 and you have two divorces under your like, you that's know what I mean, versus if you're like 60. 65. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It really just depends because some people like, are who married, they say they are. I got married too young at 22. We got divorced yeah. at 27. That happens. that happens. Married another lady. We got divorced at 50. That's that happens. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, well. The Context third, matters. Yeah. Third yeah. one's the charm. Context always matters, but 15 is asinine. I think we can all agree. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you would. <laughs> just stop getting married. Let's say over 20 years. You Unless she's not telling them. And then she be... was saying she just liked weddings. I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind. There's no way you spend a million dollars. Well, it's so funny. So for someone who doesn't want to commit. Right, because her mother was going through so many weddings. She yeah. really commits but she a lot. Still, <laughs> but she still loves weddings. She's committing a lot. She's committing 16 times over. She's committed to weddings. <laughs> That's for damn but sure. But it's just, to me, I would be weird as a character, like, to, to be to in an like industry, weddings. To be in an industry yeah. that, like, right. you have such strong emotional package to yeah away. unless she sees I, I guess she sees it more as a business anyway like that's emotional damage <laughs> emotional damage <laughs> like that song playing in the background yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, i think that's the whole point so when she hires uh or i'm sorry when those two women hire her to be i thought that storyline was really fun i thought um it was just well we're in the way that i saw this book was like watching a movie in my head yep. which i really i enjoyed. think it would be a fantastic movie it was just fun it was like very light-hearted i could see it like it as moved a netflix quickly. movie like a netflix romance movie um it moved very quickly every all the images were just great like his, oh she's his, so good at his writing flower shop i pictured perfectly the wedding venues I yeah perfectly. the abandoned building that she turns into the wedding reception Loved area that. was so cool in my favorite scene Great which is when she goes to get the tub i think oh, we have to oh talk my about god the tub. the tub it's my favorite scene and i think in most books that I've it's ever, very like, romantic comedy like for me giving it's this so romantic yes comedy. for me giving this a three star i would say that's one of my favorite scenes in any books that i've ever read and it really? was like genuinely it was just so funny i was so engaged with it and i loved every second of it but it was essentially um you want to tell this story because i think you tell it really well uh, okay so we're we're in this whole thing of planning um one of the brides was like oh my mother or i think my grandfather somebody in the family would really love this tub to be used in the wedding somehow for drinks ama thinks that it's for us it's a small thing a small basin maybe she can use for bottles or drinks whatever she goes yeah for sure we can totally add that no big deal um fast forward it's the day of the wedding ama has a problem with asking for help she's very much like i'll just handle everything I, i got it it's control freak type of thing i relate (laughs) <laughs> and so she goes to pick up this tub and she gets there and realizes it's a massive claw foot tub i just picture it and perfectly for any of you who've had a claw foot tub, i used to have a, in my childhood home had a, big ass, home, like had a big ass bathtub nice. no way she's got even moved it no <laughs> so she tries to she's like okay well I had to get this massive ass tub to the venue. I'm going to put it in my little Honda Accord. <laughs> I'm just going to get 
get it. Like, not one part of this plan was intelligent. <laughs> Which so is she so goes funny. to lift this tub. She slips in some way, drops it on her foot, breaks, breaks her, her foot. foot. <laughs> I, I felt that because I broke my toe around the same time. I was oh like, my oh, God, I you get did it. I get same it. same time. Um, so she breaks her foot. She can't walk. She's like down for the count. And she's stressing out, be like, I can't make the wedding. So now she has to call Elliot and like she has well, to I think th- Elliot like calls her and she's like, Help! I'm I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> it was like on Bluetooth or something. Yeah. And yeah, that was her cause, headset. Because yeah. she couldn't get to her phone. Yep. And he's like he's like, I have to take you to the hospital. She's like, The wedding. <laughs> the wedding. And I just like, I don't know, the whole image of that was so funny to me. And I it really would have played out it. really funny in a in a show in a or a show movie. Or movie. I agree. But that was just like one of the silly moments. I think there was a but few talk of them. about like this pisses me off. Like, okay. Um, to Colleen Hoover's, uh, it ends with us and Verity are both getting made into movies. No. What? Yeah. Well, I knew what ends with us was For Verity real? too. Verity, Verity got shot picked up, up and it's going to be made after it ends with us. Do you and mean, it's like, why? 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 Make this into a movie. This will be funnier. This will be better. Do you mean like in theaters or straight to DVD? Or is it a lifetime movie? Is <laughs> it a lifetime movie? Is straight to DVD anymore. Because Verity, I mean, Verity, Verity gives lifetime all day. Oh, Verity yeah. is a lifetime movie. So I need to look this up. Is this true? Are you making up I'm rumors? I'm not fucking making Are it up. Are you spreading rumors? Is it true Twilight's getting a, a TV series? Animated. It's got, yeah, animated TV series. What? Oh my God, there is a Verity movie. Wait, there's a Verity movie from 1983. It's a noir indie film. Okay. So that's not right. I don't see anything about this. I think Did you search you, Verity Colleen Hoover movie? Yeah. I think you might have just spread misinformation, which <gasps> is something we never do on this not podcast. That. Not, not that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I think that... No, I'm seeing nothing. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, never mind. I um, see something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the fucking worst. Both of you. <laughs> what did I do? And you fucking Maria's blame catching me. Strays. What did I Straight up catching the beginning, beginning. you're like Erica. Erica wanted to do this one. No, you oh, did. Yeah, that's I true. confirmed from what you originally. She's wanted. still holding on to that. That's wow. a grudge. Did that make you upset? No. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, no, she needed something to love to on. come in. Okay, Erica, you're in the middle of the couch for a victim. reason. I am the victim. <laughs> <laughs> I am the victim. So this movie, uh, I mean this book. How does it this end? Movie- <laughs> Get us to the end. Um, it ends with the the wedding goes off without a hitch without her. Well, uh, well, actually, I wouldn't no. Say, like every hitch she could possibly. Have. I mean, no, like things. The bride was Elliot freaking the out. Wedding. Elliot helps Saves run the wedding the from day. away while she's at the hospital, being like, "Can man. you please let me go?" Yeah, like, no, we have to get S rays, and she's like, "Well, can you just? Let, can I not? Can we just? I get it. It's broken. Yeah. Can I leave?" Yeah. Um, but they didn't let her leave, and so the woman that Ama used to work for. Ama whatever Emma, Emma, because she they think it's anna no it's Emma. no i, I listen i listen say the name Amarantha the fl- is from what's the uh, flower uh, though court of what's what's the flower i don't even, i've never heard of the flower before it's i'm pretty sure it's i heard it's not amarantha so it's Emma, dude it's Emma. i don't give a shit it's Emma. i listen to the audio so it's not Emma. you keep saying Emma. i don't give a fuck just whatever going, whatever i just want to stress how i'm going anna now fuck that <laughs> so anna right um, that's very wrong but go her on. her old boss she that has this bitch. kind of like relationship with her where she they're frenemies they're frenemies well she's more of a friend the other one's an enemy <laughs> mentor <laughs> mentor was a mentor mentee frenemy. didn't that woman always gave her quarter like a hard time of like you get too close to the client like she was very much obviously she was threatened by ama ama anna ability, <laughs> uh, to, ability like, to like really do a good job so when she finds out that Emma got this really cool, like big uh, client, she sort of starts sabotaging from the start. Like she gets the venues all like booked out um, that she was trying to get to all the vendors also. Like, so Emma had to really like scramble towards the end. She realizes she finds out that, um, that Emma has broken her toe or her foot or whatever. And she goes and tries to take over the wedding plan thing of this wedding while Emma's at the hospital mm. and Elliot's caught this chick's like shit from the start. Yeah. So, um, Emma finally gets there and there's this big blowout of her on camera, sort of like, you're trying to take my job. Like you're not as good as me, even though you think you are like, fuck you bitch. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing, right. And so that ruins her career. 
And I think uh, during it also, they're like filming a show. Yeah, I forgot for about it. the reality show. Yeah, I forgot about the reality show that was being filmed at the Which same time. Which was so stupid, in my opinion. It was. It was aggressive. It was just a way for them to catch that girl at the end. It was like literally all set up for I that. think so, but I think it's also adding that it's extra good, stress. Like, extra story line, Yeah, it's extra, extra drama, extra tension. Yeah. Yeah. It was fine. It was but fun. overall, I thought it was a really fun book. I it was fun. I, it, I think I gave it a four. I gave it, it a three. A, it was like my favorite. But it's not my vibe. However... It was well written and fun, and I think this book was exceptionally <laughs> well written and um, exceptionally. I don't know about that. I think no. I think like the descriptions yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Like yeah. it was very good for this genre, especially. Yeah, too many similes in my opinion. And oh. um, I thought about this book there a was lot a after sen- I ended it. There was Did one you? sentence that had two similes. That's too many similes in one sentence. Okay, okay. just saying. All right. I'm glad that you thought about it a lot. I thought, no, that's what, that's the differentiator for me from like the four to the five. So the five, like, think about it, yeah. Have I thought about it? Does it stick with me? Is it something I'm like itching to keep thinking about and yeah, looking like, at? And, and like, it's not the readability, like rereadability factor. It's like, how much it hooked you yeah yeah i agree it was it it was written well i like the descriptions it was fun because i uh where it takes place it takes place in sacramento california and i've been there Mm -hmm. through work with wwe back back then yeah so i've been to that rose garden that they uh were doing the wedding in so i was able to visualize that street and the roses and i was like oh like i could see it like in my head that's so it was i think it was really fun i I would read another book by Julie Soto. I would too. Is she? Has she had more books? I don't, know. I don't think so. Didn't we decide they? Or this might have been her debut. Didn't we look it up been. one time and it was like two books she had or something? I don't know. I can't remember. I would definitely read more Julie Soto as well. So I'm glad that we brought it to the table. Um, okay. I think she has one coming out, if I'm not mistaken, like in like June or oh, something. Yeah, she is not at all what I thought she would look like. Um, not another love song. Oh, it looks oh. like a uh, June. It looks like a violin. Can not I violin. Can I see? That's Can not I a see? violin. A cello? That's a cello. I get those confused sometimes. They're so different. It's giving me ghost vibes with the, but just not what? the potting thing. You know, in ghosts, we're like, oh, yeah. the potting. And the potting. I like that her tank top is like slipped down just a little. It's, it's saucy. 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 Oh, no. Not the smut. No! <laughs> There was, the, there was no smut. There's, no, there's nothing in there. There was, was nothing. No sex. No, there was sex. There was sex. There was sex. Yeah. When? Uh, they were like at the wedding the, at the flower shop oh you're right you're there's right, a couple because right. she made it a, a sexual thing she made like a let's just have like sleeping the other thing and he was just like i want to actually date you she's like ah, i don't do that yeah that's yeah. right it that was, was the not, biggest like conflict of the book okay not a smutty book no no, no. sex in a book yeah yes. is not the same as a smutty book sure sure i still think there's there's levels there's yeah. levels there's onions nope there's onions. Layers, layers there's onions in the layers there's onions to this all right well thank you <laughs> so much for listening um we are just so happy to have you and we hope you come back sometime and maybe even check us out on youtube by looking up books yeah, and betches duh. erica's yawned six times i'm gonna start telling it's nighttime i don't care <laughs> it's almost we're nine. all tired Mom. i'm always tired Thanks so much for being here. Follow us on Instagram, mm-hmm. books underscore and underscore betches, B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Give us a like while you're there. We're so professional. Good night. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs> Bye. Bye.